हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन लाइट शैडो एंड रिफ्लेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग एंड डूइंग सम ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज विच आर गिवन इन अवर चैप्टर इट इज लेक्चर नंबर सेवन as i mentioned here we will be learning about some of the activities the first set of activities will help us to understand and relate that light travels in a straight line on similar grounds the next set of activities will be about pen hole camera so let's begin activity 1 the aim or objective of an activity means what would be the outcome if we will perform this activity here the aim of this activity is to show that light travels in a straight line materials required number 1 a lighted candle and number 2 a flexible tube procedure or the steps number 1 take a flexible tube and place a lighted candle in front of one end of it number 2 place your eyes at the other end of the tube can you see the light clearly yes here you can check the setup through the diagram step number 3 now bend the tube a little bit number 4 place your eyes at the other end of the tube number 5 try to locate the candle light can you see something or it appears dark no if we will bend the flexible tube then the light will not be visible to us from the other end this shows that light travels in straight line that is why you can see it clearly through a straight tube activity 2 the aim of this activity is also to show that light travels in a straight line here we will be understanding the property of propagation of light but with the help of another activity materials required number 1 three cardboard sheets number 2 a match box and number 3 a candle procedure 
Step number one. Take three pieces of the cardboard, a matchbox and a candle. Number two. Make a small hole in the middle of each of the three pieces of the cardboard. Number three, light the candle and place it on the table in such a manner so that the flame of the candle is at the level of the holes of the cardboard. Number four, the cardboard pieces must not touch each other. Number five, look at the burning candle through the hole in the first piece of the cardboard. Place the second piece of the cardboard between you and the candle so that you can still see the candle through the holes. Through this picture, we can understand how the setup should be while performing this activity. Here, we can see that the lighted candle is placed on the table and three cardboard pieces with hole in them are also aligned so that if we try to look through the hole of the extreme board, we can see the light. Step number six. Now repeat the same with the third piece of the cardboard so that you can still see the candle. Observation. Now the candle can be seen through holes of the three cardboards. You will notice that Holes in the cardboard pieces need to be in a straight line. Conclusion This activity once again shows that light travels in a straight line. And we are aware that this property of light is called rectilinear propagation of light. Whichever activity you perform, the result or the conclusion is same for both of them. Now, let's move on to next set of activities in which we will be learning about Pinhole Camera Activity 3 Aim Construction of a Pinhole Camera Before starting the performance of this activity, let us first know what is pinhole camera. The pinhole camera is the simplest kind of camera. It does not have a lens. It just makes use of a tiny opening, a pin hole sized opening to focus all light rays to obtain an image.
the simple image formed using a pinhole camera is always inverted and diminished inverted means upside down and diminished means faded now let's perform the activity materials required number 1 a cardboard box number 2 tracing paper or butter paper number 3 a luminous object procedure number 1 take an ordinary hollow rectangular cardboard box with a small hole in the middle of one face of the box number 2 the size of the hole should be equal to the pin head of a common pin number 3 remove the opposite face of the box and fix a tracing or butter paper in its place with the help of a thread or a rubber band step number 4 the box is blackened from inside so that any light which falls on its walls directly or indirectly is absorbed number 5 place a luminous object such as a burning candle in front of the pen hole an inverted picture of the luminous object that is wick is obtained on the butter paper students after construction our pin hole camera will be obtained almost similar to this diagram let us reiterate all the steps and check if we were successful in obtaining the correct pin hole camera we have taken a cardboard box on one face a pin sized hole is done on the opposite face tracing paper is placed with the help of a thread or a rubber band this is the simplest way to make a pin hole camera at your home let's move on to the next activity activity 4 after constructing the pin hole camera now we wish to know the working of a pin hole camera and that's is the aim of this activity procedure place a luminous object such as a burning candle with wick labeled as xy in front of the pin hole an inverted picture x dash y dash of the wick is obtained on the butter paper or the tracing paper this picture is called the image Let us now look at the arrangement of the box so as to understand the working of pen hole camera. 
students we can look here in the diagram that a burning candle is placed near that face of the box which has a tiny hole the opposite face of the box where an observer can view the image is on the other side here the box is blackened from inside the object here a burning candle has a wick which is labeled as x y and the image on the butter paper or tracing paper is inverted as well as diminished hence it is also labeled as x dash and y dash the image obtained on the screen is inverted and diminished such an image is formed because the light travels in a straight path hence light from the upper point x of the wick passes through the pinhole tiny opening and strikes the butter paper at x dash similarly light from the lower point y of the wick passes through the pinhole and strikes the butter paper or the screen at y dash when light from all other points between x and y passes through the pinhole they strike the butter paper in between x dash and y dash hence an inverted image is formed on the butter paper students that's all for this video i hope you have understood the aim and procedure for performing these activities i will also urge you to perform any of the activity as per your convenience this will help you in understanding the properties of light by doing the hands on activities thank you